this one school is specially just on immune spectroscopy and so I'm here and also um, I'm at the beginning of my PhD and I think that's a good time to go to immune spectroscopy school that covers the basics. I've heard that it was a very good opportunity to learn about the experimental technique and get insights and how to actually do the experiments, analyze the data, and it's, it's the sort of thing that I'm going to be working on in my PhD. It's something that was highly suggested. Uh, because our group is doing a lot of muon uh, uh, studies already, and I had to catch up with them to learn uh, about the technique. I wanted to know about uh, muons, and uh, it, it also was connected with my experiments. Because I, I, I really need to learn how to conduct the uh, USR experiments, it can really improve my uh, PhD thesis. So. When I read and saw that it's a combination of uh, experimental and theoretical uh, uh, lectures, uh, I found it really interesting. I decided to do, to do this school because um, we are in, uh, in our group in, in Parma. We are uh, very interested in, uh, in the muon and in MUSR. especially to meet some people um, who will maybe cooperate with me in uh, future um, projects. The obvious thing is it's going to help me with actually doing experiments, analyzing the data, but also hopefully writing up proposals myself. Well, I'll be uh, learning about frustrated magnetism, about quantum spin liquids, and uh, muons are very good local probes of magnetic fields in materials, so they will help me to characterize these materials. I think it would be helpful to really understand what's going on. By the gaining the knowledge how to uh, examine my samples, so it's, uh, I get additional information from the muons, and uh, then I can. Uh, expand my interpretation of the data. So it will be a uh, complementary to other stuff that we're doing and can give me a better understanding of the properties we're looking after. The most important thing that I learned here is um, for example how to, how to put um, a sample in the instrument, how to, how to use the computer program to analyze data. This is very very impro important for, for us to, to, to analyze the, the data of, uh, of an experiment and uh, this is uh, quite difficult for me <laughs> but it's very very important because it's also very very interesting the lectures of, um, of this course the, that uh, teach you how to use muons in different uh, topics, in different materials and uh, this is important because you can have uh, an idea of uh, different uses of muons Um, I like the practical work because I think the hands-on experiments are um, those experiments that will help me to um, fit um, data I'll um, get in future experiments. So what I've enjoyed the most is how hands-on it is, so you really get to go into the details, you see what's happening, you have to do it yourself and you're taught by the experts. You're not just given some sort of power presentation and Teach yourself. I like the theoretical presentations, they gave a broad overview of the topic and also the practical sessions where we can actually do some experiments and see how things work in practice. And I also enjoyed meeting people here, I made a lot of contacts here, so I hope to collaborate with them in the future as well. Besides this knowledge, is, uh, you can meet people around the world and share your knowledge with them. And maybe there's a little chance that you they these people invite you to your country for measurements, for example, for cooperation. People. The, the pe people around here are uh, always willing to help me and it's really nice to know there is another uh, person around to share ex experience with. I really like the, the practical uh, part when we, when we were able to um, do some of the stuff by ourselves and learn how to do some uh, data analysis, so I find it really helpful. I think uh, that this, this course is very, very interesting, very, very uh, useful.
Yes, certainly I will. Mm. I'll probably join others in my group doing their experiments. Yeah, I will be submitting a proposal most definitely. I think it is a good idea, for sure. So I'll probably talk to my uh, supervisor and tell him what uh, I've been told and see maybe if we can uh, think of an idea that will suit to our materials, use the stuff that we learn and I learned uh, in order to maybe apply for a proposal. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do, yeah, sure.